This is uh, our first ever 24-hour race. It's the first ever race that uh, you know we organized, and it really is the the first in the world. So I hope you guys are are, are pumped to be here. This is hopefully going to be amateur racing at its best. I hope everyone's here to have a good time, to uh, you know promote the sport of electric motorcycles. That's what we're we're all about is to to show the world that we can go 24 hours, we can have a race, and it can be without burning gasoline and making a lot of smoke and noise. You know, we wouldn't be able to do this race if we had gas bikes here, because they don't allow uh, riding at night in this area because we are right in the middle of the city. So this is a special event uh, because it just couldn't exist if we had gas bikes. Okay, go ahead. like zero motorcycles is going to be an important aspect in keeping not only our trails open that we currently ride on but maybe even opening up some new riding areas uh, close to town. This is a uh, Quest Type 1 sound meter, uh, law enforcement grade. One of the reasons I brought this sound meter was to actually get some sound readings on this event and what we're finding out is uh, people talking, carrying on a conversation actually louder than the bikes themselves. As we look here today and I think that changing technology, what it is is that it adds to the menu of choices that the OHV community will have in terms of where they can recreate closer here to an urban community uh, and the importance then of being able to teach environmental responsibility and safety. It's also a reduction of our carbon footprint, so it's really a win-win all the way around. So uh, I'm from Akina Solar and uh, we were asked by the organizers to bring our mobile solar truck down here to help power some of the motorcycles for the race and basically what we're doing is just collecting energy of the sun, routing it into the batteries and charging the motorcycles for the race. Today. battery life with the temperature drop. Uh, I think we're in fifth, but we just blew a shock. Yeah. So yeah, we just blew a rear shock, which we changed out. So four yeah. minute shock change that may have dropped us to six, but the best riders out there right now. So hopefully it's burning fast lap times. So. Uh, the bike's running great. I'm absolutely loving it. I absolutely love that bike. It's just so kicky. You just throw it to any corner. And I was loving the jumps, like deep impact. It's just loving it. It's wanting more. It's just oh, it's great fun. I was a real
Uh, we're feeling it now. We're feeling it. Got muscles to my shoulders. I can't lift my arm up higher than that, and it's, it's really tearing into us. But hopefully, this last couple of hours is going to go quick because we're doing really well. You know, we're doing a lot better than we thought we would. There's a guy who's still been asleep since two o'clock because he was just completely passed out from fatigue. Um, Robert over the back there is doing okay. He's had to quit for now because he's just getting problems with his leg. I'm about ready to go out on this motorcycle. I've been up for 25 hours and I'm exhausted. I don't even think I can hold on. Five minutes. Let's go. Give it up. Give it up. Five minutes. Yeah. That was a great finish, huh? It was really amazing to have uh, 500 miles go by, uh, 24 hours, doing a thousand laps, and to uh, have the race that kind of that close and uh, right down to the end. It's it's pretty amazing. We had very few problems. We got all the bikes to finish and uh, no injuries, nobody got hurt, so we got, it's a good race. It was great to help out all the teams because um, there was about well, maybe 20 crashes along the way. There was a lot of, a lot of tired riders, people just, just pushing hard uh, the, whole, the whole event. It's really, it was really amazing. I, I didn't expect uh, that the people could ride that hard for just, just continuously, but they were charging really hard, just flying across the track, catching, catching some pretty big air out there. For a 24-hour race, so we learned a lot about um, about the you know managing the power, managing the batteries, uh, a lot of logistics for just just getting all the teams organized. Well, I want to do this race again, and and I, I talked with all the racers; they're looking forward to, to next year. So I mean, this is really the future of uh, of motorcycle racing uh, because it's it's quiet and uh, it's fast and exciting. It's a little bit safer. And, uh, and we, you know, we used only a little over $100 worth of electricity for the entire race. I mean, for, for going, um, uh, you know, uh, each team doing almost 500 miles, uh, 10 teams, 5,000 miles, that, that's really incredible. So we can do this and, uh, you know, not pollute and uh, uh, not cause uh, uh, air pollution and noise pollution. And we can do it without foreign, foreign oil. This is a win-win for everybody and we had a great time.